Hey, what's up YouTube? On One just released Photo Raw 2021 last week and it has a ton of new features. My name is Tom Cheswick and I'm a professional photographer that's been using On One for several years and I'm very excited about this new release. Today we're going to take a look at the new Portrait AI module and what to do if it doesn't make the perfect selection of the face, mouth, or eyes. I know this is rare, but sometimes you're going to run into this and you need to know what to do. If you want to test out this great program, please use my affiliate link listed below. It doesn't cost you anything to use it, but it will help me be able to continue to provide free content on YouTube. Then visit the On One site and download and install the free 14-day trial version. Let's get started. Okay, we have on one photo raw 2021 loaded up and running. We are in the browse mode and I have an image selected. So I could go up to edit and then click on the portrait AI module or the keyboard hotkey is I. Okay, hitting the letter I opens up the portrait AI module. For this example, I did purposely um, change the eye settings and the selection of the eyes. This does happen on occasion and you need to know what to do if it does happen. So how do you know it's not right? Well, let's go up here and if we look at the brightness here or the detail and we'll reset those and we adjust them. They're not really affecting what we want to have affected. Okay, so if you ever see this problem, it's an easy fix. Just go to the eye icon, click on it, and it's going to show you what was selected. All you have to do is move it. So click on the blue button. and then use each of the pins, the four pins, and move those around the eye. And we'll do the same thing to the other one. So when we get this arrow, double-sided arrow, we'll just drag that to the pupil. And then we'll use the other pins to go around the eye. Now look at this, I'm going to guess where her eye is and this is going to show you the power of this tool. Okay, we have all that selected. What is amazing is if we go into adjusting the whites, even though we have some white or some of the white is covered of the eye, it's not going to brighten that part even though the tool or the eye mapping is going way past into the hair. Okay, now that we have the eyes properly selected, now when we adjust the whitening, it does that perfect. It brightens the whites, but it doesn't bright that area hidden behind the hair. That's amazing. And if we do details, we have strong details there as well. So that's how you do it for the eyes. The same would be with the mouth if that wasn't selected correctly. In this case, we may fine tune it a little bit if needed. These don't have to be super precise. So teeth whitening, lips, brightness, lip hue. All of those can be adjusted and it does an excellent job. Finally, let's look at the skin selection. The quickest way to do that is, and those eyes are just too bright. I'm sorry, I gotta go back and adjust those. Playing around way too much. Okay, so normally the skin that is selected is around the face. So we can check that out by looking at the mask. The hotkey to show what skin is selected is O, and this is a great way to fine tune the selection. So if we go in here, click on the mask, it will bring up the brush. We're going to paint out. We can use our bracket keys to adjust the size of the brush, and that way we can just get rid of this hair if we want it. But more important is actually painting in because it looks very strange if you just retouch the face right now none of the other skin is selected 
So the skin retouching is only being applied to the face. It's we're going to want to have it paint in. We'll do 100% for now. And we can be rough here. We can go to paint out. And fine tune that again, something like skin retouching. It doesn't have to be precise. If you wanted to be more precise though, on one does give you the tools to do that with the perfect brush and that's going to sample the areas. Okay, so that's going to give you much more control. Again, it's not something that I normally do because you don't have to be so precise. So just paint in. And if you want a little overboard, paint out. And you don't have to get every area precise. Okay, so now if we go back now the skin on her neck and chest and arms are all being smoothed equally as the faces. Now all the skin area is being retouched. So that's how you adjust your selections in On One Portrait AI. It's a great way to be able to, again, retouch all of the skin area and if needed, to change the selection of the eyes and mouth. Thank you so much for watching another video on my YouTube channel. I am looking to grow it, so I would appreciate you subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications so you can see when the next video is released. Thanks so much.